If you're looking for a tropical vacation getaway in Jamaica, the Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites might be the perfect place for you. In this video, we're going to take you along the resort and tell you everything you need to know about the Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites. Let's go! The Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites is about a 20 to 30 minute bus ride from the airport, depending how many stops your bus makes. We personally were on a bus that had to make stops at three or four other resorts, and our resort was the very last stop on the list. So it took us about 30 hours total to get from the airport to the Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites. As you arrive at the resort, you'll be greeted and your luggage will be taken. You can head right into the lobby where you'll find the lobby bar on the left hand side and check in on the right hand side. The check in process is pretty standard and once you're ready to head to your room, a bellboy will bring your luggage with you and show you the way. The rooms at the Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites are pretty standard in terms of all inclusive rooms. There's many different options, everything from junior suites with a garden view to junior suites with ocean front views, and then you can get into the more expensive suites that accommodate families. We personally were in an ocean view junior suite, which is basically a suite on one of the higher floors that allows you to have beautiful ocean rooms from your balcony. Apart from that, there wasn't really anything super special about the room and we didn't really spend too much time in there. The Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites is home to one buffet that you can go for breakfast, lunch and dinner and many different a la carte restaurants that you can book. There's also a couple of snack bars that you're able to get food at throughout the day. The buffet was the main restaurant we ate at and we personally loved the Jamaican food they had. The buffet does offer a variety of different types of food, so if you're not really into eating Jamaican food, there is other options for you as well. But if Jamaican food is what you're looking for, back in the back right hand corner is where you'll find their specialties. There's also a variety of a la carte restaurants that you can book. There's items like the Greek Tavern, you've got a steakhouse, a Jamaican restaurant, and a teppanyaki restaurant. We personally were only able to get one a la carte booking because they were pretty booked up by the time we arrived. We chose the Jamaican restaurant and we found that it wasn't much different than the food that's offered in the buffet. So if you are looking for an a la carte, maybe choose one of the other ones. It's also worth noting that the restaurants are shared between the Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites part of the resort and the Ibero Star Rose Hall Beach part of the resort. The pool is definitely the most popular spot on the resort. With infinity views of the ocean and a pool bar, it is the place to be. There's also awesome entertainment throughout the day that you can either participate in or watch. Apart from the main pool, there's a second pool with a volleyball net for games, and there's also a lazy river if you're looking to get a little bit further away from the music and relax. If you're not a pool person, the beach is the next best thing. We personally love the beach and prefer it over the pool. And the great thing about this resort is it seemed like there wasn't that many people who liked to be at the beach. So we never had to fight to get the chairs we wanted. Now the beach here wasn't as pristine as we've typically seen in Cuba or Mexico. There was a little bit of seaweed and the sand wasn't as fine. But honestly, you still can't go wrong with the beach. One part of the beach that we disliked was the amount of people walking the shore trying to sell things. They did get a little bit aggressive sometimes and would be yelling at you to try and get your attention. One thing we absolutely loved about the beach on this resort was the beach snack bar. First of all, it is super cute. And second of all, it had some great food options that you could snack on throughout the day. 
We love getting the jerk chicken, some patties, and a little bit of french fries. Last but not least, there is a lot of activities to partake in throughout the resort. There is daily entertainment at the pool and at the beach. You could use kayaks, catamarans, or paddle boards when the weather permitted, and there is also options to pay for scuba lessons. Some of the other features of the resort that we haven't mentioned but absolutely loved were number one, there was a Star Cafe where you could get different types of coffee and snacks at any time of the day. There is also a plethora of bars, so if you enjoy your all-inclusive drinks, you definitely will not run out of any options there. Now we didn't partake a lot in the nightlife, but there was nightly entertainment and there is a disco on site if you do want to go out for later at night. And last but not least, if you have children, there is a star camp available as well where your children can go and participate in activities throughout the day.